been said a long time ago that no one, no man stands so tall as when they stoop to help a child. And we've seen that on display uh, quite often and in great urgent need. And so we're very glad to participate in that. Hi, I'm Commander Thomas Slummer from the Youth Investigations Division. My name is Crystal Turan. I'm a juvenile case manager with SJA Youth and Family Services. We work out of the Juvenile Intervention and Support Center. My name is Marco Acevedo, and I'm a detective with the Chicago Police Department. I'm George Bliss from the 16-inch Softball Hall of Fame. Today we're having a back-to-school fair for our young people who have just successfully completed their summer programming. We work with the Chicago Police Department in the fact that when they get a young person who's been arrested, and instead of sending them to court, they send them to us because we're basically a diversion program. So we work with the detectives who are are inside of the gist and they we come up with a plan together to try to figure out what we're going to do with the youth. So we got together and I said you know what we, we need to uh, have something different for the kids to come in instead of just going to an office they need to get together and uh, uh, get some physical fitness in, get some group participation, uh, teamwork. We fortunately met Detective Marco Acevedo a couple years ago. We talked about a program of perhaps coming out and showing kids how to play this game. And in our third year now at McKinley Park, thanks to the commander and all the great people here, we've been teaching kids how to play 16-inch softball, and we are so happy to have it. And the Softball Initiative is really one of our outreach efforts uh, that we're hoping to touch the lives of station-adjusted youth. We have a lot of youth that, that get in, into uh, trouble in the city. Um, oftentimes those uh, first encounters are for very low-level offenses. And the, the goal is, is to use those intervention uh, opportunities as something to really change the course of the young person's life. Without having to send the case to court, without having a permanent mark against the uh, young person's record, to be able to take that time with the youth to make sure that um, they take accountability for the things that they've been involved in, but also try to make more positive and healthy choices uh, with their own lives, which then will have a, a lasting impact for not only them, but for all those around them and for the larger community. This is Chicago's game, and kids should maybe come back and play this game. After all, it only takes a ball and a bat, no glove. That's all you need. You can play with four or six or 12 players. This is really integral to Chicago's history. So we got these kids out here, and then we had a 10-week program and uh, where we had the kids come on out, uh, learn the game of softball. Some of them never played before, and uh, we had them engaged, they learned the game. They uh, fostered relationships with other kids, so I mean, it was a win-win for everybody. And today we're taking the time out to celebrate them, so we gave them awards, um, free lunches, and then after we have a guest speaker who's gonna speak to them about 30, 45 minutes, he's a motivational speaker, who's gonna speak to them, we're giving them pre-filled book bags for back to school. For any future events, go to Chicago Police Facebook page. It's always important that if you see something, say something. If you have any anonymous information, you can go to cpdtip.com.